Hello guys, so are you welcome to my channel? It's me, Evelia Sadulio, a teacher in profession whose passion is to do video tutorial. Today, my reviewers, I will just teach you how to write the chemical formula of binary acids and ternary acids. Okay, let us first know what is or what are binary acids. Binary acids are acids containing only hydrogen and nonmetal, except oxygen. Binary, since it is only composed of two elements, and these are the hydrogen and nonmetal. Example of some of these acids, we have hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydrofluoric acid, and there are more examples. An indication of being binary acid is the prefix hydro. Take note, uh, binary acid or binary acid starts, start with the word hydro in its name. Okay, how do we write the chemical formula of binary acids? In binary acids, chemical formula should always start with the element hydrogen followed by a non-metal, except, of course, the oxygen. So in writing, we have to write first the hydrogen ion followed by a non-metal anion. An ion because we have to use the negative oxidation number of non-metal. So we have here an example. Number one, write the chemical formula of hydrosulfuric acid. So in this case, the cation and the anion, we have hydrogen and sulfur from the word hydrosulfuric. So meaning components of this acids, acid are hydrogen and sulfur. So first, we have to write the cation, the hydrogen cation, and the sulfur anion, having negative 2 as the oxidation number. Second, we have to balance the charges by writing subscript in each element. You can also use, you can use crossover or crisscross method in, in, balancing the charges of the negative and the positive ion. But then if the charges are already equal, there is no need for us or for you to write any subscript. Okay, let us proceed. What is crossover or crisscross process? This is a process wherein the charge of cation will be the subscript of the anion and the charge of the anion will be the subscript of the cation. Okay, we have here an example. This is still the hydrosulfuric acid, which is composed of the hydrogen ion and sulfur ion or sulfide ion. So, we using the crisscross process, crossover process, since our charges is not equal, take note that chemical formula should have a neutral charge, meaning equal yung charges ng ion. Since we have here one for hydrogen and two for sulfur, therefore the charges are not equal, we have to do crisscross process to make our charges equal. So, the subscript of hydrogen is the oxidation number of sulfur, and the subscript of sulfur will be the oxidation number of hydrogen. To finalize, the final chemical formula for hydrosulfuric acid is H2S. Okay, let us have more examples. We have hydrochloric acid. So it is understood that it is composed of hydrogen and chlorine ion. So hydrogen has a charge or oxidation number of positive 1. Chlorine has a charge of negative 1. 
So since the charges are already equal, there is no need for us to write any subscript and therefore the chemical formula will be HCl. Another example, we have hydrophosphoric acid. So which means this is composed of hydrogen and phosphorus. So the hydrogen ion is H plus and the phosphorus Phosphide ion is P negative 3. Since the charges are not equal, we have to do the crossover or crisscross -cross process. So the charge or oxidation number of hydrogen will be the subscript of phosphorus. And 3 will be the subscript of hydrogen. Finalizing, the formula is H3P. And then last example, we have hydrobromic acid. This is composed of hydrogen and bromine. Hydrogen has a charge of positive 1 and bromine has a charge or oxidation number of negative 1. And since we have equal charges, there is no need for us to write any subscript or there is no need for us to use the crossover or crisscross process. And so, our final formula is HBr. Okay, this time let us know what are ternary acids. Ternary acids are also called oxyacids, acids containing oxygen. This is usually a combination of hydrogen ion and polyatomic anion. Polyatomic anion or polyatomic anions are ions that contains two or more atoms only carrying a single charge. Example of this, acids, we have sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid, phosphoric acid, and phosphorous acid. Notice the name of the ternary acids and with either eic acid or OUS acid. Okay, so the suffix name of the acid will determine the kind of polyatomic and I use So meaning, ic acid suffix means that the anion name ends with ATE and while if OUS acid is the suffix, that means that the anion name ends with ITE. So let us have an example. We have here number one, what is the chemical formula of sulfuric acid? As you can see, uh, this contains the element sulfur and of course it ends with eic acid. Therefore, uh, the polyatomic that is being used is consists of sulfur and oxygen and the name of the ion or polyatomic and ion should ends with ATE and therefore the ion is sulfate ion and the formula for the sulfate ion is SO4 negative 2. This is the ion that we are supposed to attach or combine with hydrogen. So of course we need to start writing the positive or the hydrogen positive 1 followed by the sulfate ion SO4 negative 2. So as we can see, our charges are not equal. Therefore, we need to do something. We have to use the same method as we did in the binary acid. We have to use the crossover or crisscross process. So the charge of the hydrogen will be the subscript of sulfate ion. And the charge of the sulfate will be the subscript of hydrogen. Okay, finalizing. Our formula is H2SO4, which is, the chem which is the chemical formula of sulfuric acid. Okay, let us have more examples. Okay, another example is sulfurous acid. This time it ends with OUS acid. And so this is polyatomic ion of sulfur with IT ending and that is sulfite which has a formula of SO3 negative 2. So 
we attach that uh, ion with hydrogen so we have it here as you can see so since our charges are not equal again we have to use the crisscross or crossover process so subscript of hydrogen is the oxidation of sulfate so two and the subscript of SO3 will be the oxidation of hydrogen therefore finalizing we have H2 SO3 as the formula for sulfurous acid and next we have phosphoric acids phosphoric acid therefore it is con consist of phosphorus and oxygen since it ends with IC acid we have to look into the periodic table what is that ion that consists of phosphorus and oxygen with which end with AT or ATE and that is phosphate having formula PO4 negative 3 so we have to combine it with hydrogen we have to write first the cation followed by the anion so since our charges are not equal again we have to use the crossover crisscross process uh, the oxidation of hydrogen will be the subscript of phosphate the oxidation of phosphate will be the subscript of hydrogen and so finalizing we have H3PO4 and then we have two more examples we have phosphoric acid this time it ends with OUS so we have to look into the periodic table the ion the ion of phosphorus containing oxygen that ends with ITE and this is the phosphite having PO3 negative 3 uh, formula so we have to attach this one with hydrogen starting from hydrogen and PO3 negative 3 since our charges are not equal again we have to use the crossover method this will be H or 1 will be the subscript of phosphate and 3 will be the subscript of hydrogen finalizing the formula is H3PO3 and lastly we have nitric acid so meaning this is nitrogen containing oxygen polyatomic and ion that ends with ATE or ATE and so this is nitrate looking at the periodic table it has a chemical formula of NO3 negative 1 once we combine this one with hydrogen since the charges are equal we have final formula for nitric acid is HNO3 Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something uh, from this tutorial. Uh, you have to comment below whatever you want to have um, new tut tutorials in the future. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for watching. See you on my next video.